the Matrix Studios Network. Coming to you straight out of the Bronx. Home of the independent and unsigned. Your voice, your network. And um, this gentleman I'm sitting next to on the left of me, um, I don't even have the words. Um, it's an honor for me just to be in his space right now. Um, <laughs> I'm stuck. But anyway. Well, um, thank you. <laughs> Boy, that was an introduction. Well, all right. Good night, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. This guy, he is the first thank original. You. You're welcome. Original hip hop band. Yes, yes. That the Sonics. Um, this is Bobby. Thank you that so much. That is part of the hip hop band. Yes. Or should I say Bobby and the well, no, I mean, well, I mean, my, 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 we're, we're a big group. We're a seven-member band. Yes. There's seven of us in a band. is uh, wow. Daddy O, Prince Paul, MC okay. Delight, uh, Fruit Kwan, okay. uh, DBC, mm-hmm. and Wise Human Mix Machine. And that's the original pop band, you know. Wow. Uh, and I say that real quick so everybody can know because we've been getting flack from people. Really? Big shout-out to my man Quest, but they know, the roots know that we were the first <laughs> original hip hop band. Okay. I mean, we just okay. got to make it clear. And, and, and Quest is my man. He, we, we good people, but... The roots didn't exist in 1986. We did. Wow. Now, you guys started back in Brooklyn in 85. In my right, yeah. Correct? Well, actually, you, you're, you're, you're correct. Okay. Well, we put out the On so, Fire album in 86, but our first single was called Just Say Stat, which came out in 85. Wow. Yeah, if you can't say it all, just say Stat, because our name was funny to say. You know, um, it's Stet Sasonic. It's spelled S-T-E-T-S-A. S O N I C. Okay. So people couldn't say our name. So we just said, if you can't say it all, just say Stet. Ooh, you know, so okay. and, and it kind of stuck with people. So wow. that's kind of like our tag song. Wow. How are you feeling now? I mean, you've been doing this for people weren't even born. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, no, it's it's really well. Because, thank you. No, 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 it's <laughs> no, amazing. That's, I'm, and no, you look so young. Well, that, well, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, um, we we, wow. we actually guys like us, we we kind of uh, we we those well actually a few of us, three of yeah. us, four of us are. Uh, three actually three of us are still pretty much involved in the music industry okay myself um who now i'm managing um, R- um old school artists like r&b artist fond de who had the record okay. over like a fat rap mm-hmm. and octavia another artist who i'm managing right. who actually we originally scheduled to come here today yes. to come hang out, hang out with you we're going to still make that happen okay thank you and um and daddy o who yeah. also um uh, put out solo albums and prince paul who produced the first uh, big hip hop concept album, which was De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising. Wow. And then he went on to produce Big Daddy Kane, and he did the Gas wow. Face with Third Bass. Okay. Uh, me and Prince Paul produced uh, the rock band um, Living Color. Me mm-hmm. and Daddy O produced Red Hot Chili Peppers. So you know we had our fingers in the business, like behind the scenes as well as uh, being front guys. Yeah. So you know, yeah, we, we we've been doing this for a minute. We was managed by Russell mm-hmm. Simmons for five years. We were all okay. in the Rush management. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we've been we've been doing this for a minute, but. We kind of just keep ourselves busy. Oh, I don't want to forget Fuquan. Fuquan, who's also a part of the group Grave Diggers, okay. with RZA and um, yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? So DWI's favorite. Yeah. Okay. So so when you think of Stessa Sonic, we all over the place. People just don't realize what we do more behind the scenes stuff than you see us in the front. But that's about to change coming in 2016. So, wow. Yeah. So how are you that. feeling about today's music from the era you you have come from? into speeding up until now well a lot of the stuff out you... there a lot of stuff out there is really crap i mean just i mean let's just be honest a lot okay. of it really is crap i appreciate your honesty <laughs> i mean but I'm, i i do have my favorites mm-hmm. <clears throat> um kendra is definitely one who i, I am i'm a favorite of um uh, there's, there's a couple of cats out there you got, got some cats who's from the 90s that are still doing anything mm-hmm. like talib Kweli, good friend of ours mm-hmm. yeah you know, a lot of cats yeah. out there still in the trenches doing their thing but you know when you're in a game in a business like this yeah you know, this is now a business. This is a record business, and cats are looking to make products mm-hmm. out of the artists. Right. When we were doing it, it was about the art. We had no idea about being products. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that the product idea didn't come in until Russell kind of found, well, actually, until Russell found a way with Curtis Blow. When mm-hmm. Curtis Blow started doing uh, Pepsi commercials, not Pepsi, yes. Coke um, commercials, Coke, Coke, yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I'm sorry, and Sprite commercials. Mm-hmm. And then MC Hammer came in, and it all, it all became, hip-hop started becoming more of a merged thing. And then you got to credit... Run DMC as well, yes, as far as the theater being products. Yeah. But um, the industry, the, the the corporate industry, just got involved where it's like, you know, we can really take all of this and make all you. Now artists, people don't even ask them no more. What you think about their record? It's really about who they are. 
I did, I did you go around to anybody right now that's putting out records right now? Say, yo, yo, you heard such such album? Did you hear that cut? That I didn't hear that cut yet, but I know him. <laughs> Nobody true. really listens to the album. Yeah. They know them as yeah. a product. Right. They don't know them. Like when you when you listen to the thing about us, I'm sorry I have to kill it like no, this. No, no, no. I want you to. The thing about us mm -hmm. back in the days, particularly circa 1988, everybody back in the days put out a product, a, a, a lot of product at yeah. the same time, and none of us sounded alike. I give you, I give you uh, um, an example. Okay. Circa 1988, the summer of 1988 was the best summer for us. Mm -hmm. We did the Runs House tour. It was us, Public Enemy, EPMD, Jazzy wow. Jeff, and the Fresh Prince. I and could Big imagine that stage. Mm. That was the best tour that we've done. But everybody had an album out at that time. Mm -hmm. You had Biz Markie, Diabolical Biz. Yeah. You had Slick Rig Great Adventures. Mm -hmm. You had Rock Cam Follow the Leader. Mm -hmm. You had EPMD Strictly Business. Wow. You had Salt and Pepper, um, uh, Salt with a Deli Pepper. Mm -hmm. You had Jazzy Jeff, he's the rapper, I'm the DJ. Yeah. You had Us, That's a Sonic, In Full Gear. Mm -hmm. You had Public Enemy, Takes a Nation album. Wow. You had Run DMC, Run, and, and all our albums came out at the same time of the summer. And wow. they all sounded different. And we all didn't feature each other on each other's product. You didn't hear Run DMC featuring EPMD no, you didn't. or EPMD it, it wasn't featured. Many, yeah, I don't it wasn't that. Hearing features. Right, because we wanted to prove to our listeners who mm -hmm. we were first. Now, later on down the line, if you want to do something with somebody, later, right. you know, but the first three albums, mm -hmm. yo, do a record with Curtis Blow. Nah, we nah. like them, but we, it's strictly a Stead album. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? It was no features because I we didn't you. need it to ride anybody. And that's not to say artists who's riding people today, mm -hmm. it's not the case. A lot of them are talented, but. You know, we, we, we've always said, if you're going to listen to an album, if, if you got an album coming out, yeah. let me hear what you got first. Yeah, but I got this joint with Busta I'm doing. Well, Busta's my man. I know what Busta can do. <laughs> what could you do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like you, yeah. you, you don't want to get yourself in there because people mm -hmm. can quickly forget about you right. and go, y'all remember that record you did with Busta? Mm -hmm. Then you're going to feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you ain't listen to my whole album? <sighs> nah, but that joint with Busta you did was hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you're right. And it kills a lot right. of artists in the right. industry. And I always tell cats, mm -hmm. find your own zone. Okay. And people will definitely, you know, fall into place of what you do. And then do. Exactly. Going down the line, then do the features. But corporate got involved. And corporate is like, well, that's a nice idea. But in order for us to sell records out the gate, yeah. let's get you and Nikki on a record together. It'd be hot. Mm. And cats will fall for it. Because they know the industry. Well, look, what's, look what's happening now. You well, know, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm kind of mad at the industry. I'm not that mad. I'm not really I'm, mad at it because yeah. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Russell even told us that when we was involved. Why do you think Russell branched into a whole lot of other things as well? Yeah. You know, he, yeah. he kind of knew what the direction he was going. Leo Cohen, who was someone we always fought with everything. We, we had so many fights with Leo Cohen. It ain't funny. <laughs> Leo Cohen used to put us in EPMD. He used to pin us in the EPMD together. Mm -hmm. he's a, he's he's to always tell daddy on us daddy oh epmd have the biggest record out right now so y'all should open up for epmd and we like mm -hmm. we will smoke and we used to smoke <laughs> epmd every day every show i mean those are our boys we're friends yeah, and we talk about it we you laugh about it we but... used to smoke them every <laughs> night because EPMD had no show. They had no stage show. It's true. But they had the records. Right. You put right. on You Got to Chill or Strictly Business. Yeah. And you hear that boom, that, and that, you lost your mind. Yeah. But when it came to a live show, I always smoke them. Yeah. And that's what I'm like. Don't you? I, I, I agree with you because even with live shows, you mm -hmm. have to have a stage presence. It has to be. Nowadays, it's just. Well, yeah, because you know, the artists, some artists, right, artists. some artists, and, and the, not but, everyone. But again, they're, they're they're just products. It's like mm -hmm. they don't really have to do so much. They'll, you're, you're, whoever's in charge of what you do, they'll say, "Well, we'll give you props. We'll give you all the girls that can dance. We'll give you propaganda, smoke." To so kind of take the eye off the artist. Exactly, else is on exactly. It's marketing. It's and, all and they fall for that. They be like, "Yo, you, you know, we go, we know what we're gonna do at the Grammys. What? We're gonna strip you up and you're gonna fly down." And you like, yo, when Run DMC did the Grammys, Jam Master J came out and said, y'all ready? No, 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 Peter. No, no. And the audience <laughs> lost their mind. Right, right. All he was doing was scratching up my Peter Piper. Yeah. But it was a nothing else to it. Yeah, but, but now, because artists, flying in the air. Exactly. It's like they think, like, this is hip-hop. And it's like, yeah. yo, when we was doing it, we we, totally we, different. we didn't even go home and change. We got on stage with our, with our scarred up sneakers, mm -hmm. and then we was like, yo, everybody stand up. We just, yes. we just had to do it. Yeah. Now they got it so proper that mm -hmm. that people are losing focus again about the music. So it's mm -hmm. more about the brand than the music. Okay. So when you listen to the music, I'm sorry. I don't. I, there's a lot of stuff I do like that's out there, but this space music is killing me. Mm. It's killing me. It really wow. is killing me. Like, and, and um, yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, but and let's set the record straight. If I can 
Prince Paul told me to do this. So I'm, I'm gonna do this. I want to set the record straight to everybody. Y'all okay. paying attention? Yes, I'm listening. 1986, all this down south stuff everybody talking about. It's the down south sound. This trap trap music. It's the down south sound. Do your homework. You could. And what what do kids do today? They all say, "I'm googling." Google. <laughs> 1986. Okay. Stetson Sonic's On Fire album. The song On Fire. Play that, and you'll hear trap music. Okay. You know what? Do we have that? Okay, Play so it. we're about to get that right now. You're going to hear all that. Do, 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 do. The drums and the... You're going to hear all that. Yeah. 1986, y'all. Wow. There you go. 1986. <laughs> it was only us and Rick Rubin and Mantronics uh-huh. doing that. Wow. It was just us. Wow. Mantronics, us, and Rick Rubin. We were the only one doing that. All that. And and I remember Rick... I'm Not Rick Rubin. I remember... um. Tom, we was on Tom, Tommy Boy Records, Tom Silverman. Tommy Boy Records, okay. He yeah. said, Tom said, Tom said, yo, don't don't make the 808 so low, it's going to rumble, nobody's not going to understand it. We was like, no, that's dope. <laughs> and we just kept it going, boom, boom. And, and people looked at us like we were crazy, like, y'all going to make a record like that? Oh, and there's only two groups wow. that made records like that. That mm-hmm. was us and Run DMC, Tougher Than Leather. Play wow. Tougher Than Leather, you got the same thing. Same type of thing. Same and that's, thing. I always say that... In my opinion, it repeats itself. Time well, repeats it does. Itself. It does. It, it does. does. But a lot of people, they don't do their homework. Mm. But white artists do their homework on black music. Why right. black artists don't do their homework right. on black music? Because right. ah. some people feel that they really don't. Yeah. They don't have yeah. to. Yeah. So we so, school you. <laughs> yes. And I'm glad you're giving me some education along with our <laughs> listeners and viewers. So we're about to get into that track you were talking about. the On Fire? Yeah, got fire. it? On Fire? Yes. Rock it. Yeah, what right. up? This is Uncle Murder, a.k.a.